If you want to learn 3D but have no experience whatsoever, then you're in the right place. All you need is a computer and a mouse. If you really want to maximize your learning, I also recommend taking notes and practicing often to get the muscle memory built up. Now, 3D has many different uses, such as modeling, animation, or creating visual effects. And all of these can be made studio quality in a free program called Blender. To download it, go to blender.org, download it, install it, open it. If this is your first time seeing this, I understand it's very overwhelming, but just take a breath. Don't worry, I will explain everything you need to understand in the next minute. First off, these options here let you decide what kind of project you're working on. Choose General, as that's 3D work, and now a brief breakdown of what you're looking at. Up in the top left corner is where you can save, import, or export whatever you make, or turn your project into an image or video by rendering it. Right next to that are these tabs that let you work more efficiently on a specific part of a project, such as adding color or animation. This here is where you can see the objects you've made to keep track of them, in case you've made too many or want to rename them. Below that is the scariest part of Blender, which are the settings that control everything from what resolution you want your project in, all the way to creating simulations and special effects, all of which you can ignore for now. At the bottom is the timeline, which is used for animation. And in the center is the viewport, where you will spend most of your time. Speaking of which, to move around the objects you see, we use the middle mouse button and can also hold shift with the middle mouse button to slide our view rather than rotate it. We can also scroll up or down with the middle mouse to zoom in or out. If we want to see an object closer, select it and press the period key. We can also left click an object to select it and can grab it, make it a different size or rotate it either with the tools on the left side menu or just use the keyboard shortcuts grab, scale and rotate or G, S and R respectively. You can also press X, Y or Z on the keyboard after starting to move something to lock its movement to that axis. Once we like where the object is, we can confirm the movement by left clicking or if we don't like it, right click to cancel the move. If you want to undo something, use Ctrl Z. If we want a new object, we can click add at the top or use the shortcut shift A, then pick from the mesh options. I recommend creating each of the mesh options at least once so you're familiar with what they look like. This is very useful as modeling requires you to start with the basic building blocks of any object. For instance, a monitor would start as a few stretched cubes, or a pokeball would be a sphere with a cylinder in it. Congratulations! You now have all the tools you need to move around and create objects. Questions in the comments, and on the way, subscribe for more. Deuces!